When you're turning at a road junction, look out for pedestrians. If they're already crossing, give them right of way. Come into the RAF and train for a highly skilled trade that'll set you up for life. There's no need to have entry qualifications. It's you we're more interested in. Look for the RAF advertisement in today's paper or call into one of our careers information offices. Joining the RAF could be the best move you've ever made. This is a picture of the Robinson family on holiday. Let me tell you about it. One fine morning, the Robinsons decided to go out in a boat. Dad wanted to get a weather forecast. His family wanted to put to sea straight away. The weather changed. Of course. The Robinsons were lucky. The Coast Guard spotted them and called out the lifeboat. Don't be like the Robinsons. Before you go out in a boat, get a local weather forecast. That was how the first day ended. The following day, the Robinsons hired a motorboat to go out on a trip. Mr. Robinson wisely checked over all the equipment. The fire extinguisher, the boat hook, the life jackets, the baler and bilge pumps, that there was enough fuel for the voyage and no fuel leaks, and no spare cans aboard because of fire risk. So when you hire a boat, be like Mr. Robinson. Always check the equipment. But don't forget to cast off. <laughs> the next day, the pattern was characteristically familiar. When on holiday, Grandma Robinson liked to spend the afternoons keeping a watch on the rest of the family. Oh dear, they're in trouble. Uh... But Grandma knows what to do. Which service do you require? Coast Guard, please. Should you see anyone in distress at sea, do copy Grandma. Dial 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. Their holiday was nearly over. But on their last day, strange as it may seem, the Robinson family felt like a trip on a pleasure. <laughs> But once aboard the Skylark, there did seem to be an awful lot of people. So Mr. Robinson decided not to go this time. A boat carrying more than 12 passengers must have a Board of Trade passenger certificate. This states the maximum number of passengers the boat may carry. And remember, children over one year count as full passengers. So look for the Board of Trade passenger certificate. Martians landed tomorrow and decided to bag a few motorists to take back to Mars as souvenirs, <laughs> it would be a walkover. All they need do is set a trap wherever a driver's view is restricted, like just beyond the brow of a hill. Or just around a bend in a dip in the road. Ridiculous, isn't it? Out of this world! But just think, no Martians, just a broken down car or something large and slow. If your view ahead is restricted, slow down. Don't gamble on it being clear when you get there. The gas water heater in your bathroom is safe if used properly, but it needs a flow of air in and out. A blocked ventilator or a blocked flue can be dangerous. Keep flues and ventilators clear always. There's lots to see in Northern Ireland. But there's something we haven't opened our eyes to yet. The terrifying carnage on our roads. Over 7,000 people injured, over 300 killed year after year, many of them children. And more and more of them in their teens and twenties. Just listen to a couple of people who'll get the facts firsthand. I'm a nurse, and honestly, it makes me sick to see the result of recklessness on the roads here. 
but it's much more than just recklessness. In fact, many fatal accidents here are caused by drivers who've been drinking. Yes, we've got a frightening record in Northern Ireland. Do you know you're twice as likely to be killed on the roads here as anywhere else in the United Kingdom? Think about it, twice as likely to be killed. And it's happening every day to people like us who think it can't happen to them. But it does, right across the province. Don't drive around like this. Open your eyes, you could be next.